job for you soon here. You know, TV's getting younger and younger. Put Aaron right here. We're going to stretch up, take a deep breath. You want to warm up those large muscle groups. I want to talk a little bit about spot reducing, which we've done, you know, some other times on here. But again and again, I get questions about spot reducing. For example, people are always saying, well, you know, if I work my arm like this, like you show me, Joni, can, you know, will, will that just work the tricep? Partly, okay? But again, even when I'm doing this kind of exercise where I'm contracting uh, the, the the tricep muscle, there's other muscles involved in this. So as far as spot reducing goes, there is no such thing. You know those machines that you see and they say, uh, they hook you up to these electrical currents, passive exercise machines. And they tell you as they put this little patch here and here that these electrical currents well, you know, help stimulate the muscle and you don't have to do anything. You will simply have this gorgeous body. Absolutely false. To be honest with you, as we stretch up for a minute, passive exercise equipment was developed for paraplegics. That's correct. And it was a much stronger current than they use in, everybody's going, oh no, than, than they use in these salons. And what they did is they stimulate their muscles on a much, and this is so a person that's a paraplegic can just have their muscles contracted. So I say, you know, if you've got your good health, don't even tell me that you're hooking yourself to electric currents. The current isn't even that strong. So it really is not any, it's not gonna do a thing for you, except maybe if you think you're exercising. The only way to get rid of fat, okay, is aerobics for at least 15 or 20 minutes and cutting back on what you're eating. Now, as far as calisthenics, for example, when we do all of the pushing out and the leg raises, what we're doing here is we're isolating a muscle group, but there's also other muscle groups involved to help tone and tighten that area. But it's also the aerobic exercise in the diet that gets rid of the fat, so there's three parts of it. But spot reducing, no. When you exercise, you lose fat all over in terms of aerobic exercise and when you and when you tone the thigh remember you're still working other parts of the body so in those machines please anyway keep stretching we'll be right back with all over body exercise Portion of morning stretch is brought to you by the professionals at Germac. That's why my hair looks so wonderful. So try Germac shampoo. Back then I thought I'd always use Germac shampoo, but I was wrong. I like this new shampoo even more. New Germac with Lumisilk. It's amazing. The Lumisilk helps restore my hair's natural qualities, leaving it in better condition than before. Salon condition. Now my hair feels full, it looks polished. So try new professionally improved Germac. As good as Germac shampoo was, well, that's how much better it is. The best way to tell an original from a reproduction is to compare them. And that's how to tell Stouffer's Lean Cuisine entrees from the copycats. Compare the taste. The calories may be similar, less than 300 calories each, but it's the taste that'll tell you. There's only one Lean Cuisine. Only Lean Cuisine. Tastes like lean cuisine. He's a self-made millionaire, and she's a freelance journalist. Together, they're heart to heart, and that means action. How do we get out of here? Jonathan! They always find themselves in the thick of things. We're definitely in a little trouble here. Robert Wagner and Stephanie Power star in Heart to Heart, weekday mornings at 9 on KDKA TV 2. There's a difference that only you can make for a better life. A balance.
balanced diet can make a difference in how you look and feel. So eat a variety of healthy foods like fruit, bread, vegetables, dairy products, and lean meats. Eat right for a better life. Make today a brand new start for a better back ready to do some nice warm-up exercises as well as work all the body parts but first of all we want to say good morning to Kathy good morning. and good morning to Charlotte good morning you guys sure look good today <laughs> I must say I hope you have your comfortable clothing on as well we're gonna reach up as we always do in the beginning we're gonna be lunging a little bit more but keeping the upper body still as we do side to side this way we'll be doing some up clap main thing is to do what you can but do something oh right, here we go we're gonna reach up Way up. All this uh, reaching up in the beginning, like this, yes. It's just to sort of get you stretched out, stretch out the spine, the abdominals. Here we go. You notice I had a hard time uh, with this uh, this week. I don't know why. Some days it all goes, you know? It just makes you realize. Appreciate it while you have it. Get five, six, now seven and eight. Now reach it right and left, the arms come to the side. And when you sort of do this, like, reach out from the rib cage. So we're warming both the lower and upper body up. Pulling in the abdominals. Tightening through the gluteus. Bring the hands up. Side to side. Keep those elbows high. Can you touch your shoulder? Or is it, yes, good for you. Don't you love when you're little and you do something? That's why it's hard to grow up. That's why I've refused to grow up all these years. Because when you're little, everybody always, you touch yourself on the shoulders and says, good for you. Isn't she a good girl? <laughs> now nobody cares. Keep going. Take it five, six. Now reach up and clap. Take it up. I'm looking for support back there, please. Come on now. Clap it up. All right, Chuck. I like good it. Good for you. Good for you. Good. <laughs> are near your knees, or if your elbows aren't quite as long as our elbows are, somewhere in the vicinity. That's right, you're working the gluteus maximus. Feel in the back of the hamstring, it's too difficult, you can put your hands on your knees this way. Like, you know, well, this is how referees stand, don't they, on the base? Why are, I have a question, and please, take this in the right way. Keep going, I'll tell you in a minute. Give it to the right, press it down, is it true or is it false? Or is it the vertical stripes, which are supposed to make you slender, but somehow don't? Why are most referees a little overweight? Isn't it true? Yeah. I mean, they are. I don't know. Maybe we should have a referee class. Keep going. A seven and eight. Now press it down. Down. Press. Pressing down through the Achilles tendon. We're not saying mean things about them. We're just saying they always seem to have a little bit of a stomach. You notice that in football, you watch your referees? In baseball, too. Maybe it's because everybody's always poking them in the stomach. Keep going. Press it. And press it down. You can't bring your hands down the ground. You can just lean on something. Don't lean on your TV set, though. Keep going. Seven and eight. Now pivot the feet. Same thing. Oh, did you notice that? I think it's because I said those mean things about referees. I almost fell down. <laughs> God, if referees was looking. Keep going, press it five, six. Now take the hands and pivot forward and back. So the knee bends and then you straighten out the opposite leg. So you're stretching through the hamstring. Keep going, five, six, seven, and eight. Now press it down. The object here is to get the heel of the foot down. Stretching the back of the legs and stretch. Right, there's a close up of Charlotte's leg. Just in case somebody's watching in your family, Charlotte, they might want to know that. Keep going. Five, six, a seven, and eight. Now pivot those feet forward and pulse. Don't let your uh, gluteals drop down too low, unless it just happens to be what's happening now in your life. <laughs> Try and keep them sort of up and press. Now hands to the knee and take it one and two and one. And two. We're doing this. 
step. For those of you who missed it, it's our favorite snake. We keep going. Press it up. Sort of cobra-like. Now reach it up. And lunging. Pull it. Bring oxygen to those muscles. Take it five, six, a seven, and eight. Now reach it. You take a trip here. Ooh. I know you like that. I like that. All right. <laughs> Instead of much as old movies, you know, it's a lot of... Keep going. And press it. No one is doing musicals like Bugs Lee. Is it Bugs Lee Berkeley? Bugs Bugsby Berkeley. That's right. Bugsby. Bugsby. No G. Bugsby? No, not Bugsby. Bugsby. Oh, like a Bugsby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> His mother was a bee. Keep <laughs> going. A seven at Bugsby. I never knew that. I learned something every day. I mean, this crew and our director, of course, are working here because of the intelligence. That's right. They do everything. <laughs> Keep. You laugh. If I had intelligence, I might be somewhere else. <laughs> Keep going. Take it. I'll ignore them. A seven, an eight, a reach it up. Come on. Remember that clap creates energy. Wake up that. If you can't come all the way down to your feet, come to your knees. Okay. Side to side. Press that shoulder down. Press. And press. Keep pressing it down. Up through the spine. Now take it out. Arms are low. Now when you're lunging, try and keep your back flat. Side to side and press. Now hands behind the back. The old skater step here. Now take it two. And two. Again, and two. And other side, take it over. This is too painful. Put your hands on your knees or lean against something. Now side to side 20 times. Get some chairs. Be right back. Great leg exercises. music recordings ever made. Tennessee Ernie Ford has sold over 20 million gospel music albums, and now here are the most popular of all his gospel songs for you to enjoy. There's a church in the valley by the wildwood, no lovelier spot in the dale. You get the joyful gospel music recording so universally loved they were on the nationwide top hit chart every week for over five years. When they rang the golden bells for you. The richly produced gospel recordings that have never been equal. Songs of favorite. Whispering hope. I'm sure these songs will give you strength and hope. Welcome thy The most uplifting music you've ever owned. One day at a time. You get Tennessee Ernie's world's most inspiring songs of faith and his famous all-time favorite hymns. You get them both in this unprecedented offer. They're not in stores, and you must order now. Mail 1498 to Songs of Faith, Box 22186, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 15222. You get two beautiful, inspiring record albums, two cassettes, or two eight-track tapes. This special Tennessee Ernie Ford offer will end with no advance notice, so write this address down now. Mail 1498 to Songs of Faith, Box 22186, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 15222. Okay, we're back. Now, I hope you have a chair. We're using chairs because they add, again, they 
give you a little more stability. Sometimes people, when they do these exercises on the ground, find it hurts their knee joints, or they find that it's hard for them to keep their back straight. So by using a chair, it gives you a little bit more leverage. So the first exercise is going to work on the back of the leg, shake the leg out, in, out, and down. Are we ready? Mr. Bill is timing us. The famous Mr. Bill flown here live. That's right, live from the peninsula. <laughs> this is and down. Now we talked about having your foot flexed, also having resistance in an exercise. And you do that by adding control to the exercise. And down. So we're working the back of the thigh, the hamstring, and back. Try and get that heel as close as you can to the gluteals. Pulling into the abdominal. Tightening the gluteals. You feel any pain in your lower back. And you want to, if you tighten up and squeeze the gluteals, it can help you stand a little bit straighter. And down. You ever have those days when you know what you want to see? <laughs> But somehow the words come out slow. Thank you. Saving me. Last time. Now we're simply going to bring the leg up and press. And press. And press. You can bend the a supporting leg. It's lift. And lift. If you've ever been to a gymnasium, and if you haven't, you know what? Go to one. Do you want to spend your whole life and never have been in a gymnasium? Please. It's something that everybody can afford. And lift and down. Well, they have a machine that's called vertical <laughs> curl. <laughs> and lift. It's a vertical curl. You have a roller behind your leg and you lift and lower it. Now, I know that's exciting. You have to be there. So since we don't have any rollers, and we try and bring affordable shows into your home, this is the next best thing. <laughs> Last time. It must be time for the other leg. It's lift. And down. You want to be sure that your leg and your foot face the ceiling. It's out. In. Again, a lot of times when people do this exercise, they worry about their heel touching their gluteals. It's not important. The important thing is that you extend and bend that leg as far as possible in. You can also bend the supporting leg. And remember, pull into the gluteals and the abdominals. And if you can pull in those gluteals, I want to see you. Keep going. And down. And press. So really squeeze. Pretend like you have a little orange. You know, and every time you come up, you're going to squeeze orange juice. Squeeze. You like that? You like that? Last time. Now, this time it comes up, in, down, and through. Bring it up. Squeeze. Again, up. Squeeze. Working the back of the thigh. Hamstrings have a shape, that's right. You may know that shape. You may be experiencing that shape now, but it shouldn't be just straight or bottled, but it actually has a roundness to it. The hamstring muscle, the muscle rounds in the back. And press. And press. Okay, it's pressing through. Really squeeze that. You see, we like this because you can do this, you know, like when you're, uh, again, a sink or a cooking exercise. It keeps you from eating, right? Again, press it in. And in. Take it two more. Again, last time. Now, feet are apart, toes straight ahead. Press it up and down. Calf raises. Pulling into the abdominals, yes. One of the hardest muscles to develop are calves. Genetically. Usually, genetics determine whether you're going to have rounded calves, so people that don't. Mr. Bill now is doing some calf raises. Of course, all he has are feet and calves, and it looks wonderful. Little watch. A lot of people don't have very developed calves, so they do a lot of heel raises or use weights, lifting weights or a barbell. You'll find if you're overweight, 
usually by 40 pounds or more, that you usually have developed calves. It's the only way that you're able to stand up. Keep going. And press. Lift. And lift. Try and lift up tall. Pull out into the abdominals. I thought Kathy Chow was right there. Two more. That's one. And two. Now, turn the toes out this time. Holding on. And bring it down. And lift. And when you come down, you want to tuck the gluteals. They're more or less going in. Don't stick it out. Don't stick that little fanny out. Back and straight. Abdominals in. Working the quadricep inner thigh. Don't lock out your knee. I'll have Kathy and Charlotte continue. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when you come down and lock, all right? What happens there is you let go of the contraction and release, and also you can hurt your knees. This is your at-home ballet, the closet ballerina. Is her. Bring it down, pull it through. Or as Mr. Wally calls this, the carousel. <laughs> Three little horses, here we are. Very grands are not what they used to be when they were little. I went to the Santa Monica Pier. It was sad. Keep going. Two more. And continue to the break. Put on your aerobic shoes. We'll be right back. This portion of Morning Stretch is brought to you by Mountain Grown Folgers. Folgers is the best part of waking up. Days looking new and bright, and you're gonna start it right. Folgers starting to brew, the aroma's calling you. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Mornings are brighter with Mountain Grown Folgers because Mountain Grown Coffee has more enticing aroma than any other kind. The best Well, my world was dull and gray, hadn't felt the sun in days, tried new citrus hill select, what a wonderful effect. And my day gets going, and my juices get flowing, citrus hill select goes right to the heart. Cause the heart is where it's pure, it's my daily sunshine cure. Citrus hill select, gets your juices flowing, citrus hill select, gets your juices Now the nail people from Lee present High Fashion Nail Tips. The truly beautiful nail tips that are curved and styled like salon nails, yet are easy to do at home. Just select the size, glue in place, let dry and smooth. With Lee High Fashion Nail Tips, hands that look like this can look like this. Experience what they can do for you. Lee High Fashion Nail Tips. Campfire candy tastes great, but that's not the only good reason to buy it. When you buy candy from Campfire Boys and Girls, you help kids like us. You help Jennifer spend a week at summer camp. You help Robbie learn to use the phone in case of an emergency. You help Mark and Lisa find out about careers. And you help keep our clubs going so all of us can have fun and make friends. When we ask you to buy Campfire candy, say yes. It's a delicious way to help. Okay, now chairs are away. Tom, just party back with the positioning. You want to have your shoes on, of course. Roll from the ball of the foot back to the heel. Don't step on the toes. Really is too stressful to the cat. Do the best you can. I hear you.
shape as to be consistent in exercise and good diet habits. So please join us next time. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration for Morning Stretch has been provided by the following company. New Legs Tights for working out, for dressing up. These are the tights that let you exercise your options. Now available at the Legs Display. It's plumbing. For hair clogs at their worst. Oh, it's for you. Liquid Plumber is the plumber to call first. Corn Brand Cereal from Quaker has 25% more fiber than all these brand cereals. Plus, Corn Brand gives you the great crunchy taste of corn. Workout. I only wear Reeboks. They design a complete line of performance shoes.